Welcome back, fellow peasants. Uh, so we're going to do another ranking. Um, I don't know if I've seen other people do this type of ranking for the Halloween films. Uh, so I just did a video where I ranked all the Halloween films in order as I like them. So go ahead and check that out uh, later if you haven't already seen it. Uh, right now we're going to rank the Halloween films based on Halloween atmosphere. So here's, the, here's kind of the criteria <coughs> that I'm ranking these. I'm ranking these films based on how well they accomplish a small town, Midwest, trick or treat, Halloween, just spooky harvest vibe. You know, if they can create that fall atmosphere in a small town, they're going to get higher up on this list. All right, so let's get into it. Number 13 is Halloween H2O. Halloween H2O is at the bottom of the list because it's set in California, shot in California, not done as well as 78, which at least went to Pasadena in an area that looked like the Midwest. So that's why it's at the bottom. It's just too California for me. Not really any Halloween atmosphere. Number 12 is Halloween Ends. Halloween Ends, even though I, li I did like the film, once again, like I told you before, not a great Halloween movie. Gr good movie. It's not a great Halloween movie. Not a whole lot of trick-or-treating. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's a few shots of some trick-or-treaters. There's a few... There's a Halloween party that... Allison and Corey go to. Uh, but other than that, and maybe some pumpkins Lori lights on her fireplace mantle towards the end. Not a whole lot of Halloween atmosphere. Not a whole lot of small town, Midwest, harvest time, leaves blowing. Um, I, just, I, I, I just didn't feel it. So, that's that. Number 11, Halloween Resurrection. Yes, Resurrection is still at the bottom of a list. <laughs> Not the bottom, but it's it's damn near towards the back. Uh, other than the... The only reason this movie's not at the very bottom is because... The Myers House. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot... You know, The Myers House pretty much saved this, saves this movie from being at the ass end of this list. Um, anytime the Myers house is in it, anytime you get a fair enough, fair amount of Michael, uh, it's going to get bumped up because to me, Michael, Michael's house, Haddonfield, fall like things, you know, that's Halloween-y. All right. So number 10, 1978. Yes, number 10 is 1978. It is far down on my list for Halloween atmosphere. Yes, they did shoot it in Pasadena, where it looks like the Midwest. But not enough. It's still very sunny. It's still very green. Yes, they painted the leaves brown and blew them across the street and picked them up and took them to the next scene. They tried the best they could. It just doesn't feel a whole lot like Halloween. You don't see a lot of uh, leaves falling, leaves just cluttered laying around. You don't see a lot of trick-or-treaters. You don't see a lot of farm-looking atmosphere, ambience. Um, it just lo doesn't look uh, that great to me. I don't really feel that it's fall when I watch it. And uh, is what I, I remember the first time I watched the film. I remember, I remember thinking, this doesn't make me feel like Halloween. <laughs> so, all right. So, up next is number nine, Halloween 2, 2009. Uh, the reason that this movie gets the number nine ranking is because uh, it does have that small town feel. There's cornfields. It just has more of a rural aesthetic to it than uh, 1978 does or anything further down on this list. Uh, it just, when I watched Halloween 2 2009, I 
remember thinking, God, this movie sucks ass, but hey, it's got that small town, rural feel. And so I, uh, I put it up to number nine. Number eight, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2007. Uh, yeah, so Rob Zombie's movies are about neck and neck, just about in this in this listing. What gives Rob Zombie's 2007 the edge over 2009 is Michael's mask is better, Michael's better in this movie, uh, the fall aesthetic is a lot better, there's more leaves, the, 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 the color of the, uh, the trees is, uh, have changed, uh, there's trick-or-treating, um, there's better Halloween decor in the neighborhoods. Uh, yeah, it's just better. Number seven, Halloween 2, 1981. Uh, I chose this, uh, to be number seven because it's still the same night as 78. You get a little more trick-or-treating. That's how Ben Tramer dies because this dumbass was walking around in a Myers mask and accidentally got killed. Uh, there's just a creepy chill, cold feeling to the film. Uh, the small town hospital vibe to me that feels um, very small town, claustrophobic. Uh, even the hospital has some Halloween decorations in it, laying around some of the offices and things like that. Uh, so, uh, and don't, don't forget, when they go to the school and it says Samhain on the, uh, or Samhain as some people say. Uh, when it says Samhain on the chalkboard or whatever on the, you know, the board or the wall or whatever in the school... Uh, that's a huge throwback to Halloween. I mean, you don't get more Halloween than saying Sam Hain or Salwin or whatever. I mean, that's old school pagan ritual Halloween shit, right? So, yeah. So that's my uh, number seven. Number six, Halloween 5. Halloween 5 has great fall atmosphere. You got the barn party with the straw and, the, and these killer motherfuckers with the pitchfork. You got the town of Haddonfield. The town of Haddonfield in this movie is what lands it at its spot at number six because you got the small town vibe. You got the kids hanging out at the carryouts, getting off work. Hey, get in the car. We're going here. You know, good establishing shots of the downtown area of Haddonfield, you know, where most of the buildings are, and you get more of a sense of the town in Halloween 5 uh, than you do in some of the previous films in this list. Um, so, yeah. Halloween 5... I mean, pff, Jesus. Number 5 on my list for the best Halloween atmosphere is Halloween 2018. So, 2018 comes in at number 5. Uh, yes, I mean, well, what do you want me to say? Yes, the town of Haddonfield kind of takes a back seat in this film, but the scene with Michael, the nonstop scene where they don't cut away, where he's going house to house, and there's trick-or-treaters, and there's pumpkins on the front porches, and uh, some of the sh scenes in the movie where it's showing like the the trees on the streets and the in the in the in the street lights hitting the trees and there's that orange glow to the streets um i really dug it and in some of the opening scenes where they're going the journalists are going to Lori's house and her yard is just cluttered with leaves um yeah i think it uh the scene with michael alone uh, walking around house to house with the trick-or-treaters. That's a fantastic scene. And that's what landed this movie at the spot it's at in this list. Number four is Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills. Uh, not a big fan of this movie. I've told you before. I really don't like this movie. But there are kids trick-or-treating. 
There's kids acting like they ate razor blades when they didn't. Uh, there's people dressed up. You know, Big John and Little John are dressed up in the movie. You've got uh, the town of Haddonfield feels more of like a Midwest town on Halloween night. You got the bar scene. You got the hospital scene. You've got just the more of a small town Midwest. It's Halloween time vibe. You have the throwback to 78 with Lonnie running up and down the street. The leaves are blowing across the street in the flashback. It looks cold. It looks like it's Halloween. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, Halloween, uh, Halloween Kills ranks high for me uh, in terms of Halloween aesthetic. And not to mention, I mean, it's got the Myers house in it. It's got Michael in it. It's just... Halloween is fuck. Number three is Halloween 3, uh, Season of the Witch. Um, this movie has a lot of Halloween vibes to it. I mean, the whole movie revolves around trick-or-treaters and kids wearing masks. And so it's kind of hard to not feel like it's fall when the whole movie revolves around masks and trick-or-treaters and kids and so um yeah that's about as simple as explanation as i can put there number two is halloween four halloween four's opening scene once again with the farm and the tractors and the pumpkins and the bales of hay awesome opening scene uh, once again, the town of Haddonfield, nice, small, Midwest feeling, cold, claustrophobic, especially when the power goes out at the house and they just have the flashlights and their guns and it's a little chilly outside and the kids are trick-or-treating, Jamie's trick-or-treating with Rachel. Um, man, yeah, I mean, it's just, it feels like Halloween night in a small Midwest town. And it it's damn close to being number one on this list. But there's one more movie to go. And the number one movie, in my opinion, that in the Halloween franchise for fall atmosphere, the movie that nails fall atmosphere is Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. For how shitty this movie is, for how horrible the story is, for how little they utilize Dr. Loomis, for how bad the story is, for how bad, for how bad everything in this goddamn movie is, they nail the small town vibe in the fall during Halloween. There's a, there's a scene where it shows an open shot of the street, the leaves are blowing, so school buses going up and down the street, uh, there's kids walking around, uh, there's just, throughout the whole movie, there's wind blowing, there's leaves flying around, there's just a cold atmosphere in this film. Um, during the day, during the night, you never once in this film feel that it's not a dark, cold autumn evening or day. And, um, yeah, it's great. It's great. They fucked everything else up in this movie, but they sure shit nailed that. And I wish the other films in this franchise could have nailed what they nailed in terms of the atmosphere, uh, the fall you know, autumn atmosphere. So, yes, that is my ranking of the Halloween films in terms of the best Halloween, fall, Midwest, whatever you want to call it, vibes. So, anyway, guys, let me know your ranking down below. If you, I don't know if you've ever, ever even thought about the films in this way. But go down in the comments below and tell me your ranking for what you think, what movies you think have the best Halloween slash Midwest slash 
autumn harvest fall trick or treat atmosphere and uh yeah that's about it peace out guys later